Hello everyone, just want to show you what I'm doing today. I'm getting a start on the Dutch buckets as far as putting on the um, the water line to supply from the reservoir to the buckets. Um, got a few parts I went and picked up at the store today, laid out here. I'll give you an idea of what I've got and show you what everything is and what it does. Okay, start off with this here. This is the main line or the um, supply line. 50 foot roll half inch poly tubing. Uh, this stuff's really, really thin black tubing. That's what'll supply uh, the Dutch buckets. Uh, not directly, but that's what'll supply them with their water. Um, and here I've got some of the fittings. These will be my elbows. Uh, basically, it's kind of like a barb fitting. You just pop that on the, pop it right into the, the piping, and then the threads twist right on, and they actually lock into that. Um, the pipe itself. I've got a T also that I'm going to need. Uh, knocking everything off here. These will be my two end caps. These are about three dollars and twenty-six cents a piece. And if you actually wanted to continue on with something, you could. I've seen people just wrap the end of the pipe, crimp it, zip tie it. I just like a clean look and a solid. So of course that's what six dollars and something to do that. So zip tie crimping is a way to go this here is my adapter that i had to get because what i've got here here's my um my fountain pump and i used to have an nft system this three-quarter pipe going to it a ball valve here so basically this is a, a three-quarter coupler with a threaded half to three quarter to half inch threaded and then i'll just pop right on here and then this is where if this is focusing anyway this this is where my uh, tubing is actually where it's going to start if you can see that that's where it's going to go in it's kind of hard to do with one hand but yeah that's where it's going to start and go in and uh, from there okay and it's actually going to run down the back side of the buckets and I'm going to strap it to the, the wood here with these uh, conduit clips and I secure it in place as it runs down. Then next, of course, you've got the um, the punch tool, which will just go along and you'll you'll pop holes in this tubing. And then that's where this comes into effect. The quarter inch, it's called a quarter inch vinyl coupler, and I got a pack of uh, what was it, 15 of them. You see, they'll you'll pop this into the little hole here. I'll show you how I'll do this in a minute. But um, you pop them in the hole. Then here's where your people call it spotter line, quarter inch tubing, and that's what will feed and drip into your bucket. So I'm going to get some of this set up here and, and uh, show you how I do one of them. Okay guys, I'm going to show you how you hook up your fittings with this poly tube, this half inch poly line. Um, not going to be able to do it all with one hand, so I'm just going to give you an idea. You're going to press that in there, then you'll screw it on. Okay, there it is. Actually, when you press it in, you'll feel it pop it, as far as it'll go back, and then you'll turn these threads a little bit and tighten it in. And uh, I guess I just really need to get a tripod going, but yeah, there it is. Very easy to put these fittings on. And uh, I'm gonna just line this up here on the end like so, and I'll put that strap on. Okay, to give you an idea, got my cap on there, got my clamp going down the line. Pretty much what I did is did one every three feet. You can see as it comes on down here. And I get to the end. I have my reservoir tank here. I'm just gonna come around this corner and put an elbow on. Okay, once again, here's this run coming down the back side. Capped on the end, coming straight down to this corner. Got my elbow in here. And uh comes right to the end here where I got a T and from this point I'll go straight over to my reservoir and from this point on I'll go on down to that next corner and go around that backside once I get that completed I'm not even finished but just want to give you an idea and show you how I did all that and um, I'll do one of the uh, drip lines show you how that goes together okay I'm here to tell you I'm actually kind of impressed with this little tool now uh, at first I thought it was kind of 
looks like five dollars that was a little expensive to make that hole I did see a video with someone using a screw to make these holes but I just kind of you know it's my first time doing this I wanted to make sure I made a perfect hole didn't want any chance to leaking so of course you know I did this cool thing about it is this here is an actual clean out tool for your like misters uh, spray nozzles if you have any of those you ever get clogged that's a clean out tool right there fits inside the handle and also apparently that this this uh, tool uh, let me see if I can load one in here actually holds your uh, T's elbows nipples so that once you make your hole you can use this tool to help pop it in there and even if you wanted to get this line lined up on it so they could say like you had it already see it holds the line and everything and the handle so that's pretty cool I did not know that so yeah I'm thinking the five dollar investment was a little bit uh, <laughs> a little bit more worth it now um, I'm gonna go ahead and pop this hole and I'm gonna I'm not gonna do it on camera because I, I want to do this with two hands this is the first one I've done I don't want to mess it up and and the thing about this just so you know you can get something called a goof plug if you put a hole and you decide to want to remove the line eventually and just cap it so there's something called goof plugs that you can pop in these uh, holes that you make okay guys that was pretty simple it just pops right in it seats all the way down this little handle and uh, pull it right out makes a perfect little hole there uh, for these tubes to go in or couplers whatever you call it okay I got that coupler popped in there and I'll tell you what I used that tool to do it too and it's seated in there I'm telling you what this is a slick trick this is the deal so uh, you got a few of these to do you know I got 20 of these to do plus you know I'm in hyd hydroponics now in it for the long haul and I'm I'm gonna probably be doing all kinds of projects and this tool will definitely come in handy so um, I'm gonna put this phone down and pop this thing in there okay there you have it got it all popped in there snapped right in with the tool got the line coming up of course you can see where it's gonna feed the bucket um, I still got a couple holes in the top I started getting my perlite I'm gonna I started getting the rest of my media but I just want to go ahead and get this this one side done today and the weather's kind of been uncooperative here lately it's been it's gotten kind of cold um, but I uh, just want to get one you know I'm not gonna bore you and do it from one on camera but just give you an idea to show you how it's done you know in cap pipe strapping con well conduit strapping um, hook up your fittings and um, of course you know I got my adapter to go to my reservoir um, should be pretty simple straightforward uh, like I said I've never done this before so I'm just showing you you know what I'm learning as I go that tool is pretty neat I'd recommend don't skimp out get a nail get a screw get that tool because I tell you it helps pop them right in um, not too hard to do but uh that tool is, like I said if nothing else it's got the clean out tool for the misters and nozzle spray head so it's pretty pretty neat I'm gonna get all this pretty much done I think I'm gonna paint some of these boards or stain them might put some plywood tops on them um, got the other side to do got to dig a hole get that reservoir mostly buried I'm gonna get a, a larger tank above it to help a fresh water supply gonna get everything hooked up hopefully in the next few days make a video I'm gonna run water through it and um, get it running make sure there's no drips and ready to start planting looking forward to it hope you have a great day